We moved to Lizard Island when I was four years old and yeah, I've been in the water since I was a tiny little kid. I think I could swim when I could walk. So I first saw the bleaching start to happen on Lizard Island, my home that, that I've grown up on. And that was pretty heartbreaking to see these corals that I've known for years and years all turning ghostly white. What typically happens first is that the corals start to show these really bright sort of highlighter colours. So you get them going these, these yellows, greens and pinks. And this is really the coral's last hurrah. This is, this is the last thing that they do before they go bright white. And, um, and, and this might be the last time that you see them alive. It's such a weird feeling filming the coral bleaching. It's one of the most beautiful things that I've ever seen on the reef. And it's, it's horribly beautiful. Um, I, I don't know if it really felt like a victory at all. We're obviously glad that we could capture it in order for the world to see what's happening. But on the other hand, you're just really sad because you know that these corals are all going to die. They're dying as you watch them. Coral bleaching is the single biggest threat to coral reefs at the present time and climate change is what is causing it. There's a pretty simple, straightforward um, solution to stopping it and that is lowering uh, carbon emissions as a planet. If we don't do that, I don't think reefs have got a great chance at all.